Now for this question, you'll notice that I've just drawn a sketch of the cylinder. It has a radius R and a height H. And we're told that the volume V is 500 millilitres. And we have to show then that the surface area S is given by this equation here. So let's start by finding that surface area. So S is going to be equal to the area of the two ends. So there's two circles. The area of a circle is pi r squared. And we've got two of them. So we've got two lots of pi r squared. And then we've got to add to this the curved surface area. Now if you were to look at the net of this, this curved surface area would be a rectangle. And it would have a length which was the same as the circumference. 2 pi r in other words, and we would multiply that by the width of that rectangle, which would be h. So that is the curved surface area. Now you'll notice that we have got h in here, and our equation over here hasn't got an h in. So what we need to do is get h in terms of r. And we can easily do that by turning our attention to the volume. So I'm just going to put here also, we know that the volume is given by the area of the end, the area of the circle, times the height. So that's going to be pi r squared for the area of the circle times the height. And that's going to give us the volume which we can equate to that 500. And we can now make h the subject by dividing both sides by pi r squared. So we have h equals 500 then, all divided by pi r squared. And so if I call this equation 1 and I call this equation 2, then all I have to do is sub equation 2 into 1. OK? So if we do that, we therefore have that the surface area S is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r. And in place of h, we're just going to write 500 then all over pi r squared. And you'll notice now that we can do a bit of cancelling. I can see that the pi cancels out with this pi here. And I can take out one of the r's. That r there with the r squared there, leaving me with the r. And if we tidy this up, we then have s equals 2 pi r squared. And we have two lots of 500, which is 1,000. And we end up with that all divided by just the r here. OK, and that's what we had to show.